Hello and welcome to beautiful Missoula, Montana. My name is Edward Christensen and I am the Assistant Supervisor of Food and Nutrition Services for Missoula County Public Schools. As you may know, October is National Farm to School Month. My favorite day of this month is October 1st, which is National Kale Day. I also consider myself to be one of the national authorities on cooking kale chips in an institutional food service setting. And today I'd like to share with you a foolproof way to get kale chips in your lunchrooms. Great kale chips start with one thing, and that's great kale. That's why in Missoula County Public Schools, we started to grow our own. The variety of kale that we use is a green curly kale. Uh, it's a beautiful in color, and when it's it grows really easily out in the state of Montana. It withstands high temperatures and frosts and uh, is, is fairly pest resistant. It also tastes fantastic. Let's begin by selecting a few mature leaves and removing them from the lower stalk of each plant. Preheat your oven to 225 degrees, whether using a convection oven or a conventional oven. Be sure to thoroughly wash each leaf of kale, making sure there's no debris or aphids. Next, let's get out our sheet pans. Line each sheet pan with a pan liner. To remove the leaves, turn the leaf upside down and gently but firmly pull the stem away from the leaves. This technique is referred to ripping and chipping. Place ripped and chipped leaves in a single layer on each pan, with the curly side of the leaf facing up. Each pan should have approximately one full quart of leaves with very little overlapping. Using a spray bottle or spritzer, lightly spritz your choice of oil. Be sure not to saturate the leaves, then lightly salt each pan. If your oven uses forced air, be sure to use an additional pan to cover to prevent the kale from flying all over the oven. This will also protect the chips from burning. Place each pan on the oven rack, and if you're only preparing a couple of pans, be sure to stagger them in the oven. Put the rack in the oven, and then set the timer for 50 minutes to 1 hour depending on the volume. The slow and low method guarantees the perfect kale chip. Let's take the kale out of the oven. Carefully remove the pan, and let's check for doneness. I do this by carefully shaking the pan back and forth. If it is perfect, it will release and move freely on the pan. Terrific. Look at how crispy that is. So there you have it. If you take a look right here, you can see this cooking method that has evolved over the course of two or three years yields 100% with zero burnt chips. These are a fantastic guilt-free snack that can replace potato chips in a lot of kids' diets. And also, the one-to-one -one ratio for a creditable dark green vegetable in a chip form or a crumble allows us to put this into many recipes including pizza sauce, taco sauce, chili, uh, pretty much any type of kettle production. It'll fortify your recipe with a lot of great nutrients without altering the flavor profile. It's a fantastic way to get more creditable dark greens in your school lunch programs for your kids. Thank you so much for watching, and I'd also like to take a moment to thank uh, the MDI program of Montana. I'd also like to thank Garden City Harvest and the Peas Farm, Food Corps, School Meals at Rock, and of course the uh, staff and administration of Missoula County Public Schools that allow me to experiment with delicious kale chips and serve them to all of the kids of our district. If you have any questions or comments, or you feel free to contact me at the address on the screen. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed.